This Week in News, Carlton is paying back $400,000 to teaching assistants after miscalculating their tuition assistance fees. And Drew May attended Monday night's CUSA Council meeting where Council approved a motion to begin exploring a student union building on campus. And that's This Week in News. Hi everyone, this week in National, Emily Furan looks into the issues surrounding the Fair Elections Act and Taylor Blewett talks to two U of T professors who are changing the game by teaching at home and talking about their work in class. All that and more, this week in National. Hi guys, this week in sports, Cameron Penny reported on the Ravens hockey historic win over the AHL's Bingham and Senators, while Kennedy Harvey reported on the Ravens' lopsided loss to the Western Mustangs in their homecoming football game. All that and more, this week in sports. This week in arts, Amanda Jasing went to Walking with Our Sisters, Meg Sutton had some laughs at the Toronto Comedy All-Stars at the NAC, and Sam Bean went to a glass blowing workshop on Gladstone. All that and more, This Week in Arts. Hey everyone, This Week in Features, Christine Lee wrote about plagiarism and cheating in Canadian universities. And that's This Week in Features. Hey guys, This Week in Op-Ed, Emily Hawes says that dining services at Carleton needs to do a better job of serving students. And then over in the Food and Drink blog, Elaine Tamlin Watts lets you in on the butternut squash fall pasta that you can serve to your family this Thanksgiving. All that and more this week in Op-Ed. Hey everyone, this week in the multimedia section, make sure to check out Infographic for National on the Fair Elections Act. As well, reporter Ashley Metzger talked to upper year and first year students on what they thought about university life. All that and more this week in the Charlatan.